Alright guys, in today's video I will be sharing my full push workout with you guys. This is a workout I've been using for years myself, making some small adaptations to the same the process and I've been making a lot of gains using this workout plan. I will be sharing the following pull and other push workouts on my channel as well. So the four next up and coming videos will all be revealing my full workout plan so to say that I've been using for a while now to make some gains. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you want to see all those parts and actually implement this workout yourself. Two disclaimers, first of all I made a full video on how to warm up called watch this or lose all your gains uh, please watch this video i will hopefully link this in the description or you can simply look it up on my channel the last thing you want to do is dive into these exercises without warming up so i highly recommend you guys watching that video and secondly the reason why i've never shared a full workout plan before for in the gym is because i feel like every single workout plan should be personalized to your needs this is the way you get the best results okay but at the end of the day i thought to myself like yo if you guys are not using my my workout plan you'll be using a plan for some from somebody else which is also not personalized to your needs probably from a worse youtuber so to say and you make even less gains so here is my full uh, push a workout all right but not in any way shape or form am i encouraging you or telling you that you should do this workout yourself you only take action at your own risk now with that being said let's dive into it first of all the thing you can see is we will be going over push pull workouts simply meaning you're going to be dividing your body into push muscles and into to pull muscles this also means we will be training legs on our push and pull days more about that later on in this video we can simply look like this on day one you're doing a push a on day two you're doing your pull a then you're resting and then you're doing push b and pull b resting two days after that the perfect split so to say or the easiest one to follow will be to train on monday and tuesday rest wednesday train thursday and friday again and take the full weekend off but you can apply this split to any day that works for you in the week now, if you're getting a little bit more advanced, you can also go for two days on, one day off. Simply meaning you'll have weeks where you're training five days a week and you'll have weeks where you're training only four days a week, depending on if you train on a certain day or not. Uh, this simply means you have a little bit higher uh, frequency of the split, two days on, one day off, uh, instead of taking guaranteed two days off in a week. Uh, and this can probably skyrocket your gains a little bit more, but at the same time, uh, you also are dealing with unregular days, so to say. You don't know exactly when you're going to train, and this can also so, you know, be less beneficial for your training split. Anyway, the reason why you guys are here is to dive into the workout. So here's the first one. All right, so starting the workout right now, we're starting with the incline bench press using a Smith machine, going for three times eight repetitions, resting two minutes and 30 seconds. I advise you guys to use a normal bench press, uh, but I'm simply showing what I'm doing. Um, so a Smith machine is great if you're training alone, simply because you're going to be able to um, you know, spot yourself, so to say, and not make any mistakes. This is going to really prevent injuries. But at the same time, if you're training with uh, a decent intensity, you can also go for a normal bench press. Second exercise we're doing is an overhead uh, dumbbell press, two times, uh, three times 10 repetitions, sorry. Uh, and again, I'm resting two minutes and 30 seconds here. For most of you guys, resting just two minutes will be enough. Uh, but I'm getting a little bit more advanced using higher weight, so I'm resting two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, as you guys can see, I'm flattering out my elbows uh, a little bit, like tucking them in just a little bit. Uh, really try and, you know, think for yourself if you're hurting your elbows or not. You know, there's a lot of ways you can do the form uh, of the overhead dumbbell press, but this is the way I'm doing it. I've, I feel great. I feel a great contraction, but you should decide this for yourself as well. Uh, then third exercise on the list, we have an isolation for the chest called a chest press. I go for a wide grip here. You can use any kind of like chest press machine, even a chest fly machine in, in your in your gym, so to say. Um, I'm doing two times 10 here. Um, you don't need as much volume as people think. This is more than enough. Moving on to the cable side races. Again, two sets here, uh, two sets here of around 12 to 15 repetitions, depending on how much uh, weight you want to use. And I'm resting one minute and 30 seconds here. Um, as you guys can see, I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbow. Um, the angle, you know, for the first part of the movement where I'm using my right hand isn't the best, but just know that I'm feeling the muscle work. This is at the same time, you know, the most important thing. From the front, it looks way better. We have a slight bend in the elbow, raising uh, the cable, so to say, next to our body, fully contracting um, the side deltoid in the movement. Um, and I love this. You know, the reason why I lean away a little bit from the machine is to create an even better angle to, start to target my side deltoid. Uh, but you can do this standing up in the beginning. Uh, but leaning slightly away will really help you contract, um, so to say, 
your shoulder in the movement then moving on into the tricep overhead extension uh, i have to say something my form here isn't fully correct i would simply have to have my elbows up a little bit more probably have the cable machine extended you know like attached a little bit lower uh, and fully extend at the same time you know my elbows are still position positioned very well uh, and i'm feeling the muscle work uh, but if you want to do it completely correctly you want to pull a little bit higher uh, push a little bit higher anyway it's a great exercise great isolation for the larger head of your tricep and i'm doing three sets of uh, 15 repetitions here but again i recommend between 12 and 15 right here resting one minute and 45 seconds and then on the push a day i also am doing face pulls three sets of 12 repetitions one minute and 30 seconds of rest here uh, this is really just for my posture in general uh, and overall you know definitely with the push days you're training the front of your shoulder shoulders a little bit too much and it's always good to compensate that uh, doing some face pulls training the traps and the rear delts to really make sure you are uh, getting good posture and it has really helped me develop a more attractive physique along the way so don't forget to do this now anyway guys this is the full workout on the screen again you, you know you can make your screenshots do whatever if you want to train legs on these days as well which is something i would recommend uh, then you want to do the following you want to do squats for four sets of eight repetitions and you want to do lunges for three sets of 10 repetitions. That's what you wanna do on your push A day. I would probably start off with the squats, then move on to the incline bench press and the overhead dumbbell press, and then probably move on into lunges after that. If you wanna get your legs out of the way straight away, you can do that. If you wanna skip your legs, it's up to you, but I would 100% recommend you training your legs as well. Uh, and that's the way I would be doing it. The reason why I didn't film it is because I'm currently on a push pull leg schedule. Uh, this is simply the same schedule, but you will be training your legs on a separate day. All right, that's why I don't have any footage. But if you want to train your legs on the push days, which is something I do recommend, which is four times a week split, you want to be doing squats four times eight and lunges three times 10 on this day as well. Resting two minutes between both exercises. All right, guys, so that's simply it. Normally a workout like this, if you have legs in it, takes around an hour, you know, maybe an hour and five minutes uh, to fully complete this workout. As you guys can tell, not too much of crazy volume, no crazy isolations, no crazy movements, just the basics performed very well with good intensity and good form. This will already get you really, really far. Sorry for the small uh, changes I had to make, you know, to the workout myself, uh, meaning I'm using the incline dumbbell, uh, the incline bench press with the Smith machine. You guys can use a normal bench press, but at the end of the day, I'm just showing what I'm doing and adjusting it to your situation. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay, copy paste this, try it out. Let me know how it goes and subscribe because I'm releasing my pull a workout in the next video. I'll see you then. Let's make these games.